What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Discord Dodge.js tutorial. This is episode two on our how to make a Discord bot in 2020 series. This episode we're going to be coding custom commands and actually I'm splitting this episode into two parts. You're currently watching the first part. Tomorrow morning I'm going to be releasing the second part. The reason I'm doing this is because there's actually two methods of creating custom commands and this method that I'm showing you in this video is going to be the the basic method and then next episode we'll be showing the advanced method so let's go ahead and get started if you are new here make sure to go in the description and check out last video where i teach you how to set up your developer tools your coding environment as well as we set up a private little server where we can start testing our bots so let's go ahead and actually get started so first things first we actually have to code in our prefix if you guys don't know what a prefix is it's basically that symbol that any discord bot uses that basically tells the bots that they're initiating a command um, so for most discord bots it's the exclamation mark but i think we're going to do the minus sign for this specific bot so what we're going to do is we need to const we're going to do prefix and it's going to equal our prefix, which is going to be a minus sign, but you can add anything. You can do percentage, exclamation mark, whatever you want. We're going to do a minus sign. Next is we're going to actually start to code our event. So we're going to do client that on, and we're going to do a message event. So message just like this, we're going to do message again, and we're going to do an arrow function and open this up. Uh, before I continue, I do want to say I'll actually have the code in the description below in a paste bin if you want to look through the code. And if you mess up, you can actually check the code, see what mistakes you made, which is easier than just, you know, kind of doing this whole entire video thing again. So make sure to check the paste bin below. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is actually there's two things we have to check. First things we have to check is if the message started with the prefix to continue on and if the message did not start with the prefix to so just completely ignore that message. And the second thing we have to check is that if the bot itself initiated the command to completely stop and don't proceed on. And we do this for safety reasons as well as it could crash some things in your coding. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue. So we're going to do if. And then we're going to open this up and we're going to do the exclamation mark and then we're going to do message that content that starts with and when open this up it starts with their prefix just like that which is basically telling if the content does not start with our prefix we're going to basically do nothing and then what we're going to do is we're going to do an operational or which means there's two things that this if statement is going to check it's going to check that um, we start with the prefix and it's going to check that the bot itself did not uh, send the message to start the command. And we do that by doing the or, which are these two little sticks. I completely forgot how to name them. I actually had it behind my mind uh, before starting this video, but it's the same key as the backslash, which is this one right here. Uh, just press shift on that and that should pop that out. And then we're gonna do message.author.bot and we're going to do it's just return so it's going to completely break off the code right here if it doesn't start with the prefix or if the author is the bot and it's just going to return and continue on with the code all right now we're going to do the common thing which we're just going to splice our code um and then we're going to shift it you'll see what we're going to do let's continue so we're going to do const args and it's going to equal message that content that slice and we do prefix that length and then we're going to go here and we're going to do dot split and there's actually two methods of doing this uh last time what i did was just open this up in quotation marks and then leave it empty like this um, but i think a safer way to do this is if we do the backslash and then space plot uh, the plus sign and then backslash just like that which is kind of the same thing um, so we're going to do it this method and what we're basically doing is kind of splicing our command. So if you want to have something like, um, check and then space and then check wiki, um, this is the splicing that we're doing right here. So we can have multiple commands. So let's continue on down here. We're going to do const command and we're going to do equals args. And what we're going to do is we're going to shift. And then we are going to to, to lowercase, um, not to local lowercase. We're going to do to lowercase, just like that. 
And then finally, we're going to do is complete our commands, which is actually starting to program our commands and what they're going to do. So we're going to do if command. And then we're going to do three equal signs. Then we're going to open this up with single quotations. And this is going to be kind of the name of your command that they're going to send. So the most basic thing in these tutorials are to basically start with a ping command. So we're going to do ping. And then we're going to open this up. And what we're going to do is going to do just message that channel dot send and we're going to send pong back just like that and if we actually save this and then open our command prompt or we open up command prompt in here node space dot if you don't know how to do this make sure to check out my last video as well and that's going to start running our bot as soon as it says code line is online because that's where we coded up here check it here and if we do uh i think minus sign ping it's going to respond with Pong. So that's pretty much what you do. And if you want to continue to add more commands, all you got to do is continue adding more if statements. So else if command equals um, YouTube. We open this up again. Oh, I completely did not open that up correctly. Um, we're going to do a message. Message that channel that send. We're going to send youtube.com slash, uh, I think this channel is called lion, just like that. And if we save that, open up our command prompt, again, do node space dot to, you know, get our bot online, come back here. And if we do some, oh, actually, no, I keep doing exclamation mark, but it's minus YouTube. It's going to send the YouTube link. And I think if it's a link, we have to do, uh, HTTPS, I think like this right to send a link yes indeed so let's actually restart our bot like that and now we do youtube it's going to send the youtube link just like that and you can continue adding as much commands as you want all you got to do is keep doing else if finish that off then you come down here and you do another else if and that's pretty much it so right here this is where you name the command and inside this block right here is where you can start adding the code to your commands. Just, it's pretty much that simple. N you know, next video, tomorrow's video is actually going to get more complicated because the reason that we have to do that video is because the method I'm showing you guys right now works pretty well perfect for small bots. Bots that have between 10, 20, maybe 30 commands, but that's it. And the reason being is that this page right here, this file is going to start getting big and big and big and it's going to continue growing and that can hold up your code that can also have some problems later on and it's just not proficient to do if you're going to be coding so the advanced method we're basically going to be doing this but we're going to be adding separate files for each command so if you want to do the ping command we're actually going to have a javascript file called ping.js and that way we can actually start coding very very advanced commands without having to make this main file a super big file, super, you know, tons of lines of code. Um, and that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. But that actually concludes this episode here. That's pretty much all you have to do to make simple commands. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to check out this YouTube channel. There's a lot more tutorials on Discord.js. Uh, all the tutorials that I recorded about a year ago still work. So if you want to go check them out, make sure to check out this YouTube channel. With that being said, I'll see you guys later tomorrow. Peace.